Okay, how are we doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I am the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. In this video demonstration, pause that for a minute. In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you what separates our technology from anybody else. Now, keep in mind, we had this screen outside around 8 o'clock in the evening. We had it on the front porch around 4 or 5 o'clock in the evening. Now, keep in mind, we had this screen sitting in a window with direct sunlight hitting the screen and the screen did not fade, did not become brown around the edges and we didn't have an awning that was casting from the window that blocks the majority of the light. This is a window with no awning, direct lights hitting and trust me, we notice everything. So, let me show you in this demonstration what makes our technology different from everybody else. Now we have people that try to imitate our technology, they try to do the same thing but they do not follow our environment demonstrations. Our environments are extremely harsh when it comes to our screens, showing that these screens can produce an image on just about anything. Now in this demonstration, you will see the difference between our technology and what other technologies out there on the internet. And like I said, I challenge you to look around the internet and see how many people are doing the exact same thing that we're doing. Now, as you can see, nice dark environment. So the screen should look extremely good. And as I said before, anyone can make a screen look presentable in a dark environment. Now keep in mind, a lot of these big companies are going to be looking at your technology and they want to know if it can survive in commercial lighting. If they stick that screen in commercial lighting and it washes out, then it's not worth the time. And we're not talking about some dim, shadow-like environment, real, harsh, extreme lighting. Now, as I said, we had the screen outside can't get any more harsh than that but let's take it a little bit farther all right so we're going to remove this and as you can see the screen looks fantastic right nice beautiful image like I said this is bright as that white wall over there and we can come over here to the back of the projector back of the screen it looks fantastic right now let's take it a step farther. We're going to come over here, and we are going. We are going to. Sorry about squeaky floors. We're going to come over. We're going to hit our lights. Now my lit dining room is extremely bright. Extremely bright. And as you can see, the screen thrives with no problem. Well, let me show you the projector. We're using a Brookstone pocket projector at only 200 lumens. And we are now approximately six feet from the screen at 200 lumens. But, like I said, come over here. I want light on in the entire environment. All right, so we'll hit these. These are my condensed lighting in the living room. All right. The screen looks fantastic, right? No washing out, no fading. Okay. Now. I'm going to show you this demonstration how much the screen can take in and still show a visual image. Let's go to the back. All right, show you with all the lighting on. Okay, now let's take our insult to injury. Keep in mind we have a spotlight in the front and a spotlight in the back of the screen. All right, so we'll plug this in. Make sure that goes in. There we go. Now, here we go, we have a spotlight in the back of the screen. There's the image right there. All right, now, we're gonna walk over here to the front, okay. Then we have another spotlight in the front. Now, if you notice how bright my environment is, that literally where the wall where the image was showing up at, over there, it's completely gone. This is how bright the living room, the dining room is. Now, let's see, what can we do here? Let's take our chair and let's move our screen all the way back here. Now, keep in mind, now the projector, let's adjust it a little bit better here. The picture is a little bit more clear. All right, now, the projector now, 
has to be able to produce an image. Not only is it to produce an image, now keep in mind with a long throw projector, the farther back the projector is, the longer the lumens would have to travel, or the image would have to travel in the lumens in order to hit the screen and come back with an image. Now, keep in mind you could start off with 200 lumens, but by the time it hits all this ambient light and hits that screen, you're going to lose some lumens. That's why people have high power projectors like 5,000, 6,000, 10,000 lumen projectors because they know the farther back the projector, it will lose some of the lumens before it hits the screen. This is 200 lumens. How many lumens will actually drop from this projector before it hits the screen? There's not a lot to spare. So as you can see, we'll take our, I'm going to take my uh, camera right here, put it right here for just a minute, all right? Grab my measuring tape. Okay. Go back to where we are now. All right, so we are now around, excuse my dirty socks. We are now around 10 feet from the screen in a fully lit environment on a 200 lumen projector. And as I said before, anybody can do rear projection screens. Nowadays, are easy to do. So you have to show the difference between your technology and what's on the market. What makes your screen different from anybody else? We can show that our screens can be used outside and a ton of ambient light because you can't get any more brighter than ambient light when you're actually outside. We can show that our screens can be used on a little pocket projector. It's nine feet back from the screen. Nine or 10 feet, are we nine? Nope, we're 10 feet back from the screen. At 10 feet back from the screen in a fully lit environment with a 100 watt spotlight hitting the front and the back of the screen. Mind you, you're not gonna get much angle gain on a screen that's taking in that much light. Oh, I forgot, kitchen lights. Turn on my kitchen lights. Make sure you have enough light hitting the screen. Now the screen is sitting back at 10 feet back 200 lumens was a spotlight on the front and the back of the screen and they consider the fact that we have the overhead condensed lighting in the environment. Now we'll come over here, we'll take out the environment lighting, All right, take out our environment lighting right here in the room and now we're just strictly going to have the spotlights on. So there we are 10 feet back with the spotlights on hitting the screen. Let's move back a little farther. Okay, so we'll move back a little farther here on the chair. Let's adjust our projector right there. All right, so now let's see. Come over here, I'm gonna put the camera to the side. You do not wanna see me as somebody asks me, why don't you show yourself on camera? You don't wanna see this. Eat breakfast today? Good. Because I will take it away from you. All right, so. We're gonna bring us back. Let's see if we can get it where we're at now. Okay. The measuring tape, sorry, my wife's movie chair is right directly in the way of this. I'm gonna move hers over a little bit. Alright, there we go. So now with the screen and all, where the projector's sitting, we are 11 feet back. 11 feet back. There's our projector right here. Alright. And keep in mind, at 200 lumens. As a matter of fact, hold on for a minute. I'm short. Projectors there in here. Let me move this back a little bit more. There we are. Now we're in line with the measuring tape and the projector. See, we're in line with it. Let's adjust our picture quality again. All right. Now keep in mind we don't have any form of 4K upscaling. I don't know why you would do it with this projector. It's a 720p projector. It's still set in the factory default settings. And this is the image we're getting at 200 lumens back. Sorry, not 200 lumens back. <laughs> 200 lumens back, that's interesting. This is the image that we're getting at 200 lumens, 720p on a pocket projector um, at around 11 feet back from the screen. So this is the image we're getting. Now keep in mind that the screens that we are developing for our, our, our customers, which are available for pre-order today, will be a front projection screen. That's what they're gonna be designed for. They are a, this first wallpaper projection screen. I don't know if anybody did it before, but we're gonna say first. First wallpaper projection screen uh, that can be used outside in a fully lit environment. And these screens are actually incredible. They're gonna be incredible for indoor, they're gonna be incredible for outdoor. These screens are gonna be absolutely amazing. Can't start, um, um, uh, 
can't wait to start getting these screens on the market. Now mine, this is going to be a pre-coded circuit, which means it will be coded with our formula and it will give you the ability to have this flat wallpaper screen, which you can use indoor or outdoors, wherever the way you choose. Now, as for the formula itself, it will only be available for our company contracts only. It was supposed to be this way only, but I've gotten so many emails of people saying, hey, look, it'd be nice to have that screen outside of my backyard. It'd be nice to have that screen in my patio. Um, when are you gonna bring out a version for customers? When are you gonna bring out a version for our, our subscribers? And we heard you, and now it's coming. So, yes. So let me turn on my overhead lights over here. And we'll step back. I'm still hitting my projector step back with the overhead lighting on and show you now like I said this technology is going to be a, for our customers there's going to be a front projection screen but to show you how much light the screen is going to take in this is how much light the screen can pull off or how, how powerful the gain is on the screen and we're doing this at 200 lumens now if I were to come over here at about 11 feet back at 200 lumens with all the light hitting the screen. If I were to remove the overhead lights, this is a cakewalk for the technology. We're at 11 feet back. Now, look at the lighting in my environment compared to any other lighting you see people doing demonstrations on with front and rear projection screens. Look how bright this environment is. Just look around at it. Look how bright it is. That image can easily, this is cakewalk. This is cakewalk for the technology. At 200 lumens, oops, 11 feet back. You might have caught me in the mirror there. If you did, I do apologize. <laughs> it's early in the morning. I haven't even had a chance to fix myself up. All right, there you go. Like I said, we don't do that dark, dim environment dark environment, dim environment, shadow-like environment, what's the point? Because if a company is looking at this technology and they're saying, hey, will your screen survive in this kind of ambient light? Can I have this next to a storefront window? Can I have light hitting the screen? You can take this screen and stick it in a storefront window and hit it with a projector and it still pop up. All right, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Screens. My projector just died. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal H Technology Screens using smart technology gain. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching, showing you the difference between our technology and what's out there on the market. And like I said, take the time, look around, see, compare back and forth, and see how many people are doing demonstrations on this level. They can't. That screen has to stay in the dark in order for it to thrive, in order for a picture to show up. Now they may try to halfway do an environment, start halfway do an environment.